When the grading is finished, there may be 100,000 beaver broken out into all the grades. It would be impossible for the buyers to go through all the beaver in each grade. So a representative sample is selected from each grade, usually by the grader that graded those pelts. They are put together into a show lot, usually of 10 to 20 pelts. These are placed on display for the buyers to examine. The integrity of the grade is very important. Buyers expect the show lot to be totally consistent with all the beaver in that grade. If they aren't, the buyer has a right to bring claim against the company. All the lots are listed in the catalog so the buyers can see how many total pelts are available in each lot and how the lots are broken into the strings, usually 250 to 400 pelts in a string. These numbers are much more in line with the number of pelts used in the manufacturing process and that buyer might be interested in buying. All buyers are looking for a specific quality depending on their location, climate, and customers. Nadez is from Siberia. She and her mother have five fur salons. They are interested in the very best shearing quality beaver because of the climate in that part of Russia. We live in Siberia. We live in, uh, in the most uh, cold place in uh, Russia. Almost nine months of winter and three months of summer. Every woman in our uh, city needs fur coat. The uh, best uh, fur for winter, for Siberian winter, is uh, beaver and otter. We came to Nafa to choose ourselves the best of the best quality beaver, uh, the best of the best. We are buying the most expensive beaver skins. We are buying uh, uh, skins of beaver select and super select. Super select is top lot, it's small amount skin and select. Uh, also, we are buying uh, eastern beavers because uh, quality of these beavers is much better than western. Uh, so, uh, but the beginning of the changing hair is the belly. So beaver, we know that beaver begin uh, changing hairs from belly to back. And uh, when we are looking at the skin, we first of all we are looking at the back. Uh, when uh, our manufacturers makes fur coat, they take all the blanket and uh, make it one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten. If it is has hood, so for a fur coat we take about uh, eight or ten skins. They put, uh, uh, for example, uh, on the back, all the skin here is, and in the middle is the back of the beaver, and the back of the beaver is exactly on the back of the person. While dressing, we shear shear skin high as about thirteen millimeters. Thirteen millimeters is enough warmness uh, for fur coat. But uh, 13 millimeters, we can shear only uh, heavy skins, only perfect under fur. Because if the skin is not uh, grown uh, up enough, if the skin catch early, on the back we ha we can't uh, uh, shear it 13 millimeters. We can uh, we, we should shear it uh, smaller, about 8 millimeters, and that's why uh, the coat is not so warm. Uh, all we know that every woman want to look perfect and no one lady likes uh, imperfection on her fur coat. Skin should be perfect, skin uh, shouldn't have any scars. I understand that beaver is wild animal, they are fighting, but uh, uh, scars is, uh, as less scars skin has, uh, as a better it useful for fur coat. And I feel very pity when I see a lot of beaver skins with uh, damages beaver skins, with uh, uh, imperfections which I couldn't buy for fur coats and I do not know how to use it. Mo mostly we are buying uh, skins uh, exactly size extra large and large. And uh, also for fur coats the best of the best uh, Bestly fits uh, size of uh, skins is XL and large, extra large and large. The big blankets, uh, two XL or three XL, is nice also, but they are not have uh, such heavy under fur as uh, skins size uh, uh, XL and uh, large. Uh, beaver is wild animal. I understand that uh, has, they have. Uh, some imperfection, natural imperfection, parasites or scars from natural fightings. But I kindly ask all the trappers, 
do his best to make the skin very careful, do his job very properly, to avoid a lot of um, new problems. The beaver skin has enough his own wild problems. So you should do your best to make uh, skin as, per as perfect as you could. You should uh, catch beaver as soon as possible, without marks of traps, because the marks of traps sometimes while racing, its uh, skin breaks on this place, so it, it makes some trouble. So I kindly ask you do your best uh, to make the skin uh, without new imperfections without scars you you should please make it carefully the newest market for beaver china has a completely different grade and quality of pelts they are interested in but as you heard it is the best grades and best handled pelts that catch their eye my name is lumen yao i'm a director of studio nafa this gentleman's name is li dong dong he's uh, coming from china so the question will be uh, what kind of features he is looking for when he is buying the beavers. So on the leather side, he is looking for uh, whether the, uh, the, uh, the condition of those holes. If he will see the little holes on the leather side right now, after the dressing in China, probably the uh, condition will get worse. So this will be the point he always pays special attention to. So the sizes uh, uh, most of the time it will be uh, uh, XL, uh, double XL, uh, triple XL. So for him, he, he's looking for the skins to try to be perfect. So for our trappers, if they can pay special attention to avoid like a little holes, um, try to avoid those so that it would be uh, better to serve his uh, uh, buying purpose. One of the real keys to the survival of trapping is the development and maintenance of strong, viable markets for our fur. NAFA understands that and, as a part of our commitment, spends a great deal of time working with buyers to introduce them to beaver, its uses, and the grading system, and can be assured of purchasing the best quality pelts that will fit their needs. These workshops are held in conjunction with every auction and at locations all over the world for interested buyers and designers. The section that we handle is, is a western section it's beaver, a and this comes from the western part of Canada and the western part of the United States. The main difference is the, the texture of the, of the hair and also the color. Sections will be a little more, a few more imperfections, but again quality will be shearable quality. Еще смотрите, он дальше показывает для стрижки пригодные шкурки, но чуть-чуть больше брака будет. Понимаете, so есть очень some... легкие повреждения. Это легкие повреждения. Вот это закусы, шрамы. Lots of trappers think that shipping their early cod and low quality pelts is still fine, that they'll find a home as what we call hatters for making felt. That couldn't be farther from the truth. Hatters are not low quality early pelts. They are sheared for the underfur. Underfur is what is used to make felt. Only heavy and semi-heavy wintercot beaver are suitable for that purpose. What we look for in the beaver in, in the grading is it can be damaged beaver because that helps price keep the price level lower. However, we want the density of the fur, the sizes from the blanket down to and including a large medium. And our main concern is the density of the fur. Here we have a damage one large, and they can be mixed colors, various damages, as long as the resistance of the fur, the density is there for the hatter business. They all have various damages, but they all have the heavy quality under fur. And they're generally late fall and into winter qualities. By late spring, when the bad rubs are coming in and the shedding is starting, there's no interest. This is a very early skin. This is maybe a nuisance beaver taken in September, October. That, you know, it's just... There's no value. So no, there's no, no value. value. You know, this just takes up time, labor, uh, cost expense at any auction house, storage problems. They cannot market this. Um, it's, uh, you can see by the blue leather, it's very, uh, very early caught. This, this grade is, as you, again, a lot, Lots of blue leather, lots of blue leather. 
Early cop, early cop. Not for the felting industry. Here we have the Damage One, good quality, and you can certainly see the difference. We've got a heavy quality beaver here, a lot of resistance, a lot of, a lot of good, useful fur for the padding industry. And this is the, the main grade that we would prefer to buy. Top end heavy goods for us, and it's the industry, uh, whether that's on a blanket or a size large, doesn't matter. We, this is again what we want. Well, I'm almost losing my finger tops in this beaver. Beautiful stuff. It's the top grade, and but they are all prime skins. This is winter goods, and uh, they do have defects, but uh, they're fine goods for the hatter felter industry. Again, here's another one, a different color that doesn't matter. It's always the thickness of the fur, the density of the fur. Now we're getting into a grade that's usually referred to uh, by the NAFA operation as a damage two. And this is generally in our minds and graders' minds, we think of this as a, a semi. Of course, they're all, we still are always operating in a damaged grade, but now we're getting some density. And you can see. The heaviness, it's harder for me to push my hands or the grade through the, the uh, fur. And this is the final grade in the uh, third section beaver. Um, and this often is the, uh, the flat, bad damage, tainted skins, all lumped under one. And referred to generally as threes and fours. And it, this is of no value also to the felting industry. First sign, a bad, bad rub. Blue, blue leather, early skins. Again, early fall, late spring, no values. The real truth is that in the markets we have now, early and late caught pelts have no value or use in the garment or hat manufacturing industry. Remember, we stressed harvesting to the market demands.